Yu-Gi-Oh! has thousands of monster cards of different types and attributes. In this series, Cat and Bit will go one-on-one -on -one using the artwork of one monster card to determine its name, type and attribute in a series we're calling Who's That Yu-Gi-Mon? Hey guys, this is Cat from Set Free and Pass and I'm here with Bit for the first episode of Who's That Yu-Gi-Mon? How are you feeling? I'm actually looking forward to this. My throat's a bit gone, but let's let's do it. Go on then. So we've had the uh, dice roll and bit run. So what have you decided to go first or second? Just like every Yu-Gi-Oh game, I'm going first. Okay. And right. the first one we got is no. I actually remember this card. This oh god. Oh my god. Why did you choose? Okay, right. I, I think I know it. Okay, what is it? I think this is Jirai Gumo. I think. Okay. He's a warrior type, and yeah. he has to be a dark. So, do you know what episode this was in? I think it's like the first one, or it the was. second one. Yeah. It was oh the first God. one. So it was Hitosumi Giant. <laughs> oh, okay, of course. Uh, and Hitosumi Giant is not only a earth type, but he's also a beast warrior. He has one eye, it literally looked. A beast warrior, that's <laughs> crazy. Beast warrior, I, know. I can't yeah. believe he pulled out that card. I can't believe I it. I genuinely it like, knew what it was. It's classic of the classic, I think this is the first <clears throat> monster that was ever summoned in a, uh, the new... Really? Platform. Yeah, it was the first monster that Kaiba summoned in the uh, first What's episode. he doing with this in his deck? I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if anyone out there actually got that correct. I don't right, know. No, Nobody knows. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, what have we got for me? You ready for me? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Right, what do you think this monster is? Oh my god, I have absolutely no idea. So, I'm assuming this is a newer monster. It's it not an old school, is it? It's somewhat of an old school monster. It's, it's part of a very, very famous archetype. Ah, uh, so, he looks like a demon, so I'm kind of thinking he's either a warrior, uh, not a warrior, a zombie or a fiend. You've got to choose one. You can't so, have one. so, I'm going to take a guess at the fiend. Fiend? Um, yeah, fiend. But I'm also thinking in terms of this might be a trick one, where it might be a light rather than a dark. So, I'm going to go with a light fiend. And I'm gonna, he looks like a Zeta monster, but I don't know, so Archfiend Zeta or something like that. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Archfiend Zeta and a light type. And a fiend. fiend. Yeah. Prophecy Destroyer. Spellbook. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's not new at all. I mean, no, that's not old at all. I mean, we were 2006, uh, seven. so I mean, I've never seen that monster before. And I've, I've uh, never seen, oh, I've seen that monster. No, no, I mean, that's a giant hacking now, yeah. So, so as you can tell, guys, we're doing really well at this at the moment, but hopefully okay, you're doing really better terrible. at it. So, now we're going on to your next one. So, nil, nil. So, nice and easy <clears> to keep scores. So, here we go. No! See, I'm being nice in mine. <laughs> this is from Legend of Blue Eyes. Oh, God. Okay, right. Is... Do you know who what? used this? Yeah, I think so. Was it Joey? Yeah. It was definitely Joey. It was Joey, yeah. See, this looks like something he'd use together yeah. with Christian. I'm sure that. Was this in the same episode? No, Christian used uh, Battle Swamp Battle Guards and. La lava, yeah, lava. Yeah, lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, I think it's a water uh, aqua water type. Yeah. Is it a, It's gotta be a reptile. If this is not a reptile, I'll quit Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> yeah, here it first, here. Is it Kaiser Chain? Uh, what is it? So, it's a, I know it's Garuzis. Uh, so Garuzis. What? He's a fire. Fire? And a beast warrior. <laughs> nah, that's not even <laughs> fair. Know. That's uh, like, that's so bad. It's <laughs> right, level 5. <laughs> <No. laughs> Classic EVA, you bet. Finest. So, it, it does sound like something that Joey would use. Before. Yeah, no, it's classic. It's yeah. so bad. But you've got to bring it out with no, some, uh, no sacrifices back in the day. So, I mean, what would you do with an 1800 attacker? But anyway, well, what's attacking your, a fire type your and also giant. this way. But it, it, you, apparently, you're quitting Yu Gi Oh today, so you had your first. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> okay, you ready for this one? Yeah, let's I go. think you might know the type, but you might not know the name. Okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> can, can you see? Can you see who they drew inspiration from? Well, yeah, I'm trying to remember who it was it was Karate Man or something. Remember that cut? I think it was Karate Man, was it? Or was it? Oh, the one with the massive foot in the in the artwork. Yeah, just like a massive foot kicking someone. No, it was just basically a guy with um, a headband on, and he uh, was 1,000 attack, 1,000 boost, or something like that. And it was a terrible monster, I mean, even for classic. So I'm guessing... Um, <laughs> I'm going to say it's a beast, because <laughs> he looks like a beast. Really? Yeah. We'll give that one away. I mean, yeah, he's, he, I'm like, it could be a beast warrior. I'll give you bonus points for who do you think they, they based this one off? 
as in a real life one, like a Bruce Lee or something like that. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Can you not see the scratches on his face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to guess it's the, uh, the Rat Master or... <laughs> okay, go on then. No, it's, and I think he's going to be an Earth type. Earth and a Rat Master. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a piece. That's yeah. a piece. <laughs> Well, how am I going to guess that? Oh, mouse bite. Oh, I was close. I was a beast. And it was an earth. Well, there yeah, you go. maybe you get a point for beast and earth. I know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm off to a flyer. I'm already far ahead. and ahead to ahead. suits nil. 100%. So, so, yeah. All right, come on then. What have we got? Oh, now, hey. Do I get points for, for which, set it. It, which set it came out of? And it's summoning condition, yeah. That has a summoning condition? Yeah. I thought it's a normal monster card. No. <laughs> <clears throat> You would never have summoned this. I mean, if you could summon this, and basically... Why? Do you mean, like, the card required wasn't printed or something? No, it was just terrible. It was just terrible. Just imagine <clears throat> Gate Guardian was an easy monster to summon. Of course it was. You didn't need tributes. <laughs> you didn't need tributes. This has got to be a dark type. Okay. It's got to be zombie. Okay. Guardian of the Underworld. Guardian of the Underworld. Guardian of the Underworld. And a zombie in the dark. Zombie in the dark. Oh, Fusion Richie. Oh so Fusion Richie God. basically. This cannot be normal summons or set. It can be only special summons from your hand or your deck by tributing one great Gizzard or whatever it was. Gizzard? Remember, it was basically a terrible monster. Was that like a dude in a massive cap or something? Like a fancy hat? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. If you can find it, please put this on, because I <laughs> cannot remember what even it's like. Yeah, exactly. I want to see what this Great Dizard yeah. guy is. I'm actually more interested in Great Dizard, because if Great Dizard summons him, I wonder how awesome he is. He's not. He's not. No. <laughs> Trust me, never mind. Yeah, so. You ready? 2-2, two, two. So like, let's see. Yeah, come on, then. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, I was looking at this one of these, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, it is a... What, four, seven, I remember it's a fire. It's basically... Oh, um... It's got two, um, not Bell, Bell, uh, Bell, what's the Pokemon, Bell? Um, Bellsprout. That's it, Bellsprout. That's not Bellsprout. It's got two of him on his head. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there you go. It's, all I notice now is I'm looking at I think picture. we've got plagiarism here, if we can see. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's a Pyrofire. Bellsprout. Bellsprout, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. You were too far away. Actually, you were really far. You did say something about grass or fire. Yeah. <laughs> it is an earth and a plant type. Okay. A fire-breathing plant found growing near volcanoes. I mean, I got pretty much shit, but yeah, no, I can't. I mean, come on, no L-O-B. Yeah, no, <laughs> so, I mean, but the fact is that I knew they... How could you breathe fire and still be an earth type? I mean, I can't. And be fire grass. Exactly. Yeah, right. I mean... I'm that, sure those two things don't work together. I mean, that's just a uh, fix. This okay, no, no, this is for certain dark and a fiend for sure. Okay, all right, that is that that I know. Okay, I know his name has beast somewhere in it. Okay, I'm going to say chomping beast of doom. If Chomp, I remember, chomping right, beast of doom, you're, you're close, but you're going with that, yeah. Uh, if I wait, right, is it not close? I think it's pale beast, but let's have a look. Oh my god, yes, pale beast. Yeah, pale beast. It's an earth and a beast. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, wow. Well. The whole point we run to Yu-Gi-Oh! is because it has this dark theme about it. <laughs> That's not like Pokemon. And all of these types and attributes don't even like that. I know. <laughs> I still go by the Your last one was just, uh, that was unfair, but I, unfortunately, now you were, you were miles off. Like mine. I had Beast in the name, so... Yeah, buy it, fire. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Buy it, fire. Ready for the next one? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, this was another one I saw. So. The thing is, I actually showed you this one and I said, Cat, not, isn't this like the funniest card ever? Because this vegetable was in jail. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll give you a little hint because I can see you struggling. I'm going to guess it's a tomato type. Okay. <laughs> Which is a plant. I think it's vegetarian. Yeah. Same to so I'm going to say it's a plant. <laughs> what do you think is in there for? That's what I want to know. Inmate tomato. <laughs> tomato, in inmate. Mate. tomato inmate. Yeah. Okay. And he's a plant and <clears throat> he is a earth type. So plant earth tomato inmate. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's stick with that. <laughs> You're so close. I'm sorry, no. In Marto, isn't it? No, I mean, no, no. It's in no, Marto. No. It's in Marto. I got a plan of No, no, no. That's, I, I got that. <laughs> no, I don't think you did. You said in my tomato. Well, I mean, it's just shorthand. I've just said the longer version, but that's what it actually means. I never noticed this, but is that bar going straight through his head? Yes. <laughs> so he's impaled. <laughs> so he's like a. He's like a he, why he speak a kebab or. So is he, is he an impale Marto? 
I am. <laughs> but he was a plant, but he wasn't Earth. So I got one at least, but... So why impale him and then put the ball and chain there? <laughs> it's not going anywhere anyway. I mean, someone must really have finger against part tomatoes, I mean, <laughs> I guess. That would have meant they had to build the, the the bars and attach it, weld it to the other parts while it was stuck inside him. Yeah, actually. I mean, this this is getting worse. I mean, I there's mean, some, someone... look at this. Or we're, we're looking at this wrong and there's actually a, a gap, I mean, to push stuff through. I mean, I, I can't quite tell, but it's either he's been empowered before it was built or there's a hole in that, which means that... What, well, if, what if he's the ghost of Tomato Past? What if he's actually a ghost and it's not really in there? Come on. Oh, I was I was looking at this because I was like, that's the craziest artwork. Why are you doing this? Okay, <laughs> right. For sure, zombie. Okay. For sure. Okay. Right, it has to be a zombie. I want to say Ill Bud. You sure but that's not? coming to my head. Is it Ill Bud? You sure it's not a uh, fairy type? Oh, God, it might be. Wait, it's hard to say. It could be a plant. I don't know. What if Firegrass was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. If Pale Beast was a beast um, warrior or something. No, I'm going to stick with. Yeah, but it's got horns. Angels and fairies don't have horns like this. But it's also got wings. Yeah, but. Could be a dark angel. Actually, if you look at his tail, right? Yeah. That, that tail is a very impish tail. Okay. So I think it's a zombie. Like, okay. It's really bright to be. It wouldn't be a really good. He wouldn't be able to sneak up on you with that colour. I'm going to say light type. Because okay. I feel there's some weird zombies okay. that are light types. And what type? What did you say the name was? I think it's Illbud. Illbud. I think it's Illbud. Is it Illbud? No, Illbud's the one with the eyes on his stomach. No, yep, okay, yep. He is Humpty Grumpty. <laughs> He's a zombie in the dark. <laughs> hey, come on. i got to get one point for that. He did, yeah. You got the zombie bit. But I got yeah. the zombie bit. Humpty, Humpty Grumpty. Grumpty. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, so I'm guessing it's based on Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he must have just uh, become a zombie. <laughs> Where's he already <laughs> Wait, Where's Humpty Dumpty got uh, like uh, a devil tail and uh, horns? I, I don't quite get it. I mean, unless you've been, like, been reading the wrong book. <laughs> maybe he died and he became that. Because he's a zombie, right? He came back from life. Well, he was grumpy, so I mean, was, yeah, yeah. that's what turned him dark. He obviously was fed up with falling off that wall. <laughs> he, he wanted vengeance <laughs> against those people. I, you know what? I really want to know who sits there um, when they design the cards and just okay stuff. I want to know what they've actually either been drinking or smoking <laughs> half the time. Are <laughs> yeah. uh, you ready for mine? Yeah, that's good, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi Hayati Soldier. No. Oh, yeah. Right, so a bit of history. You have to use this card. Yeah, no, I have. Multiple times yeah. against me. It's a dark and he's a warrior. Yeah. And How do you not know? This literally won you a couple of games. I didn't use, no, but I didn't. Try to think. I, if I remember right, he could attack twice and you would then put um, Mage Power or Unite with Stands with like Scapegoat or something to do damage. But then he wasn't as good as. Um, what, BLS? I am Booze and I or something. Um, oh, that's actually a good card. But it's not it this one. It might be this one. I don't know. I'm going to go higher Booze and I because I'm, I don't think it is that. Yeah. It's like a higher high or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's a dark and he's a warrior. A dark warrior, high Booze and I. Something like that, yeah. Are you sure? Well, I, I'm not sure on the name, but <laughs> I, I, I know, but it's, you know, level, I know sure. it's level three. But you've definitely used this card. I know that for sure. You ready? <laughs> Mataza the Zaffa. Okay. Mataza the Zaffa. Yeah, I, I, I can recall that. I'm just trying to think what Hayabusa Knight actually is there. <laughs> okay, so I think, and I'm not 100% sure, but Hayabusa Knight is a bird type. Please find this in post. Okay. And if I get it right, do give me a point. He does attack twice, I, doesn't he? I think he's a falcon. He has a falcon's face, and it's called Hayabusa Knight. Okay, but he did, does Mataza the Zap attack twice? Yeah, so no, Mataza, right. he can attack twice during the same uh, battle phase, and for some reason, if he's face up on the field, he can't switch. Okay. So people used to use him because of Snat Steel, so he can't be Snat Stolen. Yeah, it was like, uh, what was the other uh, warrior type? Because they had it in uh, Duel Links as well, where for every spell, uh, equip card you you could attack another time. I can't remember life of me what that was, but he was this... Oh, that's not Mage Power, is it? No, that, it, was a, it was a warrior. I can't remember. But yeah. Um... Mahavilo? No, Mahavilo was the um, one that I'm basically... sure she did something as well. With the equip cards. Yeah, right? she gained 500 for every equip card or something right. like that, yeah. It just got bigger. In I Pasha? In I Pasha was the one which was a uh, tribute, which was the 1900s, <laughs> and would, uh, when you attacked, it did trample damage, you draw a card. Trample damage, jeez, that's such an old term. Yeah, I know. Do you know man. what the kids call it nowadays? Yeah, I know. Piercing damage. I know exactly, <laughs> but. I'm, I, I, yeah. Well, I've, got, I've got to say, this is quite a cool card. Blast from the past. 
No, I know this card. This was a silly card. You know when this card came out? Do you remember um, Fiberjar? Yes. I'm sure it was in the same set. Yes. As Yatagarasu wrote. Yes, probably. Probably. Jeez. Um, no. I'm going to say this is Yamato Dragon, I think. This is a fire type. And I think it's spirit. I think that's a type, spirit. Yes. Is that a type? Yeah. So spirit is a type, but ghost isn't. Well, please tell me I got this one right. You did, so it was yes! Yamata Dragon. Yamata Dragon? Fire. It's a spirit. Ah, oh, fire, yeah. All Ooh, three. I mean, all yeah. three. I mean, come on. So, that is insane. I've got my last one. I think I'm one behind now. So, do you, do you remember what this card actually did? It was crazy. Yeah, basically, we just like wipe the field or something stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. then you go straight back to your hands. And then you actually Do you remember the other? Um, the was it like a level eight? Um, warrior. Yeah, fire. yeah, the guy with the fist hand. Yeah, what was his name again? Oh. I don't know. Takagu something Gucci. <laughs> it was quite stylish. For now, on, we're calling him Gareth. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. You're behind now. Oh, come on. So it's all on the me now. Um, <laughs> God. Um, Where have you seen that before? Where have you seen this face? I, yeah, I know. I mean. Uh, Guardian of the Pot. Guardian of the Pot. Sing on those lines. Okay. He is a wind spellcaster. Wind spellcaster? Like, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna. Yeah. This dude never skips leg day. Well, no, I wait. Is yeah, he, or, I mean, or chest there, or arm there, or it's quite. It's quite I mean, <laughs> if he was a genie and he came out of Aladdin's lamp, he'd be scared. Shit, I, 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 I would not ask for wishes. <laughs> I just, I'd ask for his training, <laughs> training plan. <laughs> you ain't ever had a trainer like me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's got protein in that pot? Uh, no, I mean, he, he's on something, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, let's go then. Avatar of the pot. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's close. I mean, that's such a cool effect, though. You send one pot agreed from your hand to the graveyard, and then you draw three cards. I mean, why does no one use that now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be able to use this card. A bit of earth as well. Cool. Come on, then. Let's go. No, no, that's it. That's all of them. <laughs> uh, I was actually looking forward to more. This, is, this was an awesome game. <laughs> Unless you've got enough one, is there? Uh... I actually do. You do? Okay. I actually do. Because I... Well... I had a feeling I would beat you in this anyway, so I will give this as a this is the last one I prepared for you. Okay. And have you, you have seen this before. Because this was in one of the old school sets where I actually ended up leaving the game. What's happening in the picture? Well, there is pillaging. Um or beating. I think they're not being pillaged, they've been beaten the hell up. Or they could be or it could be some kind of no, I was going to say something topical, but I don't know. Uh, so I, I picked this card because this is the most literal Yu-Gi-Oh card in existence. The most literal card. <laughs> <laughs> what you see is what you get with this card. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> What, what do you see? You see? Yeah. Guy beating, uh, <laughs> grabbing. Um. Um. <laughs> I honestly don't. But is it a monster? Yeah. It's a monster. Well, I want to say it's a warrior. Okay. I want to say it's a nerf. Okay. And I want to go with... Um, Just think, what's happening in the picture? What are these things doing? I've got a feeling that, like, something's gone wrong and they're, 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 they're all, like, they were all playing sports and then suddenly something's happened and then there's been a it fight. Could be anything. I mean, I, I honestly don't know. I haven't seen the name. Yeah, glad gotcha, yeah. People are really good <laughs> Guys, I mean, in the comments, tell me if you you saw this and you, you, you know what this was. Because I mean, that's the that's and the best. What type is this card? Fire <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guys, no, no. Is people running about? I so think. I mean, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I, I wasn't even. They're not even running around. He's grabbing them. He's like, <laughs> it's been. Well, some are running around. Look at these lot. I mean, she got caught. That's her fault. But where's the, rest where's of... the fire and the pyro? Yeah, I think. People running about is a good time to end this. So thanks guys for tuning into our first episode of Who's That Yugi Mon. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment and also let us know what you thought that last card was uh, because I was completely stopped. So this is Kat and uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye.